Alright, so over a year ago, I decided to upload this video ranking every single AP class that I took in high school from easiest to hardest. And for some reason in May of this year, it decided to blow up and a lot of people wanted to listen to my opinion for some reason. And it got 60,000 views, which was cool. So I kind of just wanted to piggyback on that idea and make a tier list of every single AP class that there is. For all the classes that I've taken, I'm going to try to account for what I've heard on the internet and what my friends have said, but mostly it's going to be based off of my experience in that class with my teacher. For the classes that I didn't take that my friends did take, I asked them for their opinion and their rank from 1 through 7 because there are 7 tiers. And then the leftover classes are just going to go in this never took a category because I don't really have anything to base them off of. But if you guys have taken any of the ones that I put there, let me know where you would rank them. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so starting it off, we have AP Art History. Now, if I was basing this solely on my class and my teacher, I would give this an easy GPA boost for sure because half of our assignments were just drawing stuff for completion and writing down vocab, so it was not that difficult. But honestly, like the multiple choices and the short answer that were on the AP exam type questions were pretty difficult, so for that reason, I'm going to bump it up one more to D tier, but overall, relatively easy class compared to the rest of them. And then we have AP 2D Art and Design and AP 3D Art and Design. Honestly, I didn't even know these were classes. They definitely don't offer them at my school, so that's going to go here. AP Bio. This is an interesting one. I know I've seen everyone around school walking around with those big biology textbooks, so I always thought it was a pretty tough class. But then after asking two of my friends that take it, they both sat around 4 or 5, which is a little lower than I thought, and that's equivalent to like A or B tier. I have seen a lot of stuff online about this class being pretty difficult, especially for those people who don't want to major in that kind of stuff. But because of what my friend said in that, I'm going to put it at A tier. Uh, next is AP Calc AB. This one was pretty difficult, especially starting off, uh, but once you finally learned what a derivative was, it got a little better, but then related rates were introduced and optimization, and it just went downhill again. So I thought Calc was a pretty difficult class, especially AB. So I'm going to drop that into S tier. I don't think it was quite up here because the AP exam was curved really heavily along with most of our tests. But yeah, then we have BC, and I'm actually going to drop this one into A tier, which might make no sense why I'm putting that under BC or under AB, but, but that's because by the time you get to BC, you've already done all the AB stuff so many times, you're accustomed to it. And BC is basically just applying everything you learned in AB to new concepts, so that's why I think it was slightly easier. Definitely not easy though. Next is AP Chem. <laughs> If you've watched my other video, you'll know this one was the hardest AP that I've ever taken, uh, for sure. Maybe it was just because I took it as a sophomore, but still. The amount of math wasn't really the problem, but it was just combining that math with all the conceptual stuff, and none of that just really mixed with me. I'm not going to make the same corny jokes I made in that video, but yeah. Chem was, uh, chem was a nightmare to say the least. Uh, I got a 3 on it somehow, but yeah, I got like a 70 or 68 on the final exam for the class, which was the worst final exam I've got in all of high school. So that's going to go all the way up here to where I want to drop out because I did not want to stay in that class, but I just stuck through it anyway. AP Comp Sci A, another interesting one because I came into that with no coding experience, so it was pretty tough, honestly. So if it was just up to me, I'd probably have it in b or a tier but i know some people that found it really easy because they came in with a lot of knowledge and stuff and they put it at like d tier honestly even at the bottom so i'm gonna drop it into c tier maybe b i'll keep it in c because i know a lot of people said that comp side was a pretty easy ap to them so i'll take their word for it ap comp side principles was not at all like that class this one was so easy all the assignment, all the tests were just on like code or their quizlets to everything. The half of the AP exam was like a group project that you do in class. So, needless to say, it was really easy. I'm pretty sure it's like that at most schools too. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's definitely gonna go an easy GPA boost. AP Lang. I've heard horror stories from this class from my school because of a specific teacher that we have that just made the worst, the hardest exams that were just about specific details in every book. I didn't take it, but the two friends I did, one of them said 7 because of the teacher, and then the other one said 4.5, so I guess it kind of depends on the teacher. I'm going to throw this into A tier as well, though. Then we have AP Lit. This is mostly a senior class at our school. Again, I didn't take it, but between the three people I asked, it was pretty widely ranged. I had 1, 6, 1, 3, and 1, 2. So yeah, Lit, I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm going to throw it into C as well. It probably all just depends on how much you like reading and how good you are at reading comprehension. AP Environmental Science. Hmm. This is a very middle of the road AP class. 
it had some of the stuff that all the hard classes had, like the multiple choice, a lot of short answers weren't just solely based off memorization. There was a lot of conceptual stuff you had to think of too, but at the same time, it was a lot of vocab and a lot of it was like common sense-ish. So I'm gonna throw that right in the middle at B tier. And I also know a lot of people that said this was one of the easiest APs they've taken, so I've seen both ends of it, uh, so that's why it's gonna go right in the middle. AP Euro, uh, my friends for this one, one of them said six, and then the other two said like two or three. So again, it probably just depends on how good you are at this type of class, probably has a lot of readings and notes, but not too hard content-wise, like a push. Um, so I'm gonna put this also in B tier, right in the middle. Uh, next is AP French. I actually did have one friend that took this. I stopped at French 3, that wasn't too hard, but I feel like if I went to AP, it would just be really tough. I'm not sure how it compares to my college French class right now, but either way, I believe he gave it a 5 or a 6, so I'm gonna drop that into A tier, because I really have no idea how they would do AP stuff, but I can imagine the writing assignments would be really annoying. AP Human Geo, um, it's between D and Easy GPA boost, definitely. I don't really know anyone that said it was up there as one of the hardest. I'm gonna put it as D, because I think it separates from the Easy GPA boost ones, because it's more than just vocab. There's another layer to that where you have to look at current relations in countries around the world, but that layer is not very thick, so it's mostly just terms and stuff like that. So that's gonna be in D. Japanese, no idea, I don't know anyone that took it. Macro and micro, I don't know why there's no micro here, but both of those weren't offered at my school surprisingly, so I don't know anyone that took those. Music theory was, don't know anyone that took that. Uh, again, let me know if you've taken any of these and where you'd rank them. Physics 1. Again, another class I've heard horror stories from, but another class I've also heard some people say it's average. Uh, I know our teacher wasn't the best, and I know this class was hell for the people that weren't that good at math and that type of science. But for the people right now that are like majoring in this type of stuff, they're the ones that gave this like a 4 or 5, but everyone else gave it like a 6 or 7, so I'm gonna drop it into S tier because of that. Physics 2, I only had one friend that took this, and he said that mostly only people that did well in Physics 1 took this class. To them it was like a 5, but to anyone else that didn't do that good in Physics 1 or didn't take it, it was probably a 7, so I'm gonna put it in the middle of those two at S as well. AP Psych. This one's gonna go an easy GPA boost. I don't really know anyone that said this was a hard class. I know a few, I know a few people that might put this into C or D. But, I don't know, my experience was just, it's all vocab, you just memorize it and you'll be good for the test. Research, don't know anyone. Seminar, same deal. Spanish, same deal. Spanish literature, same deal, I didn't even know that existed. Everyone I know that took Spanish at my high school just stopped after Spanish 3. Uh, AP Stat. I might be a little biased on this one because my teacher was like pretty much the worst teacher at our school for math. But, uh, and also I was a second semester senior, so I hardly got through this class. But yeah, I found it pretty tough, even having a bit of stat background knowledge. But then again, there was another teacher at my school that's like often talked about as one of the best teachers, and people in that class actually found it somewhat enjoyable with like experiments and things like that. So I'm gonna drop this one down into the B tier as well. Uh, I think it could go either way, depending on your math knowledge and your teacher. AP Gov. This is an interesting one. Uh, I'm, I'm between D and C for this one. I took this first semester senior year, and it was just a lot of vocab again, like psych, but again, there was that extra layer of like having to apply it to current politics and current world scenarios, and like knowing all of the amendments and where they've applied in Supreme Court cases and stuff. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a C tier. It could be D, but I feel like C is more appropriate. A push. I put this one as second hardest in my video that I made last year, and a lot of people in the comments were saying that APUS was like the easiest AP at their school. That is definitely not the case at ours. Um, we have to take it in a semester, so it's really condensed. There's so much reading, so much writing. I hated DBQs and LEQs with a passion, but if you grind in this class, you can do well. So I don't think it was completely impossible. And also, I'm gonna factor in everyone that said it wasn't that hard at their school. And I'm gonna drop it from, I'd probably put it at S here for my experience, so I'll drop it at A for this uh, for this list. And then AP World History, I did not take that. Again, if you guys have taken any of the ones on the bottom row here, let me know how they are. But uh, yeah, that is gonna do it. This is the final tier list. I'm trying to think if there's any adjustments I can make. 
maybe Lang could go into S or uh, honestly anything could go up here with the wrong teacher and same thing with the bottom here with an easy teacher any of these could go down there it all really depends again this list is pretty subjective i want to know what you guys experiences were too and how you'd rank them but yeah that is going to do it i hope you enjoyed a little different video for today i want to see how this does and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you later drop a like and sub peace out